In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuNO3 2 plus Na2CO3. This is copper 2 nitrate. This is sodium carbonate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. And it looks like if we put a 2 as our coefficient here, we'll have two sodiums. We'll have two nitrates. Those are balanced. We have one copper on each side and one carbonate on each side. So that's balanced. Next, we need to write the states for each one of these substances. So nitrates, if you know your solubility rules, they are very soluble. So we're going to write an AQ there to show that it's aqueous, dissolved in water. Sodium compounds as well, they are in general soluble. Sodium carbonate is soluble. We have another nitrate here with a sodium. We know that's going to be aqueous. But the copper carbonate, if you don't know that, you may need to look that up on a solubility chart. So here is a solubility chart. We're going to find copper 2. So we go down. Here is copper 2, Cu2+. Plus, and then we're going to find carbonate, which is actually right here, CO3, 2 minus. We go over. We go down. And right there, that I, that tells us that copper 2 carbonate is insoluble in water. It's not going to dissolve. That means it'll be a solid. When this reaction happens, it'll be a precipitate. These two will react and this solid will fall to the bottom of the test tube. So now that we have the states, we can split each of these substances up into its ions. So we know the nitrate ion has a 1 minus charge. That's a really good one to remember. Since we have two of them, this is 2 plus. That's what we're calling this copper 2 plus. So we'll have Cu 2 plus, and I won't write aqueous and such until the end, plus that nitrate ion, the NO3 minus, and this 2 out here, that means we have two nitrates. So we'll put a coefficient of 2 in front. Then we have sodium that's in group 1, so that's Na+. Plus. Again, the subscript means we have two of those. And then the carbonate ion plus CO3, 2 minus. So those are the reactants. Let's look at the products here. When we do net ionic equations, when we have a solid, we're not going to split it up into its ions. It's not split up in the test tube. It's just a solid there at the bottom. So we'll write CuCO3. That's a solid. Plus, we have two of those sodium ions, Na+, and two nitrate ions as well. So this is what we call the total ionic equation. Now we can cross out what are called spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of the equation. So we have our reactants here. I see I have 2NO3 in the reactants and in the products. Let's cross those out. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. Same, 2Na+, 2Na+. What's left is the net ionic equation. Let's clean this up and add the states in. And this is the net ionic equation for CuNO3-2 plus Na2CO3, copper 2 nitrate plus sodium carbonate. So these basic rules here, they help us write the net ionic equation. Notice that all of the atoms are balanced and the charge is balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.